I wonder what Lindsay's doing. <laughs> hey, y'all, mate. Oh, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, not too much. Oh, what's yeah. for lunch? Just getting a bit of workout in. Um, something with carbs, I reckon. Um, what about uh, some garlic prawn spaghetti? Creamy garlic prawn spaghetti. Yes, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, let's right. run upstairs. Yeah, let's do that, eh? All right, let's go and do this uh, spaghetti, eh? What do you reckon? Sounds something, good, bro. Something a bit heavy with carbs, you know? Might be too healthy. Might be like a really good gym food, but you know, some carbs, some garlic prawns. Be sweet. Woo! Let's wash my hands. All right, so. Welcome to Lindsay's Adventures, what's going on? So I've just got my water boiled. Um, so what we're going to do is add a little bit of oil to it, like that. And a little bit of salt. And what we're going to do, got some spaghetti here from the supermarket. So what I like to do is just like, just crack it in half, like that. Straight in the water. So then when you cook your pasta, it won't be so long, it'll be nice and short. So you can twirl it up into the bowl. Alright, give it a bit of a stir. So about 10 to 15 minutes of some pasta. So the ingredients we're going to be doing is, very simple, one onion, a bit of dill I brought. We've got some uh, Jacob's Creek, but I'll use white wine, but I'm just going to use darker wine. Some cream, garlic. That's the secret weapon. If you haven't got garlic, don't do it. Because it won't be garlic prawns. Gotcha. And I've got some uh, fresh prawns all the way from China. Nah, it's not China prawns. It's some sort of prawns from overseas, I'm pretty sure, but they'll do the job. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. So we're just gonna, I've just been stirring it around on a, on a high heat. So I'm just gonna taste a little bit. Bingo, that's good. All right, so we're just gonna strain it. So, kids, make sure you get a parent to help you out. This is the dangerous part. You can really burn yourself really badly right here. Um, so I've got a bit of spaghetti, but this is for the housemates as well. So, all right, so we've got pasta cooked, so we're gonna do a bit of missing plus. We've got one onion, peel it already. So I'm just gonna sharp my knife up. Oh, baby. All right, there we go. Just gonna cut the onions. So we can either go bruma, fine dice, or we can go slice. Uh, we'll just go bruma. The bruma is a French term of fine dice onions. So, I'll explain the next one what you do. Straight through like that, nice and fine. It's a little bit of rough today, but I'll oh, just at home. Crack it to my little bowl like that. Oh, I'm making a mess. I guess I have to get a kitchen and clean up later. All right, so basically the core is there in the onion. So what you do, have your palm of your hand like that and go right through very slowly, just to the very end of the onion, about there. And then you go up again, halfway up. So you want two slots for the onion, like that. So virtually the onion's still together until you break it like that. And then, Go across like this, but not go right to the end, because you want the onion to stand together. That's the secret. And then you just go across like that. And you get nice little square shaped onion bits, pieces. Alright, a bit of a mess, but I'll. Um, yeah, I'll we'll just have to edit that part out. That's alright. Alright, so next ingredient, um, we're going to use dill. So this is the main ingredient to the whole key. So basically, I just bought some dill from the supermarket. So you get this like that, so you just pinch it. Pinch the ends like that. Like that, like that, like that. And what you can do, you can run your finger along it. And it just comes off like that. And what we do is, we're just gonna find, chop it up. This is gonna go right into the end of the pasta. This is what's gonna give that. That little sexy bang. So you just skip it up like that. Fine, slice it up. So it's a bit sort of roughly chopped up, a little bit more in. Like that. 
It doesn't matter if you have a bit of stalk in it, but it's not ideal. Alright, so let's rock and roll, baby. Hot pan, so we've got oil. A little bit of oil in the pan. Just to get it going. Around and around and around and around and around. Sweet. Most important ingredient, onions. See that sizzle? Oh, baby. So it's a bit roughly topped up, but it'll be good. It will break down. Onions. You want a nice caramelized flavour in that one? And then we're going to go garlic, because it's the main ingredient for the whole dish. So you want quite a bit of garlic. Remember, because it's garlic sauce. Garlic. Pretty much, I don't know, a quarter of a tin, a quarter of a jar. You want that nice, sexy garlic flavor. And it won't be bitter too in the end, because as you cook garlic out, it becomes sweet. So if you roast garlic cloves off in the oven, um, yeah, it becomes sweet. It's really nice. You give that a bit of stir. Oh, I can smell it already. A bit of garlic. Do you want that kind of caramelization on it? A bit of cracked pepper in there now. All right, so I'm gonna chuck some prawns in now because prawns won't take on the cook. So if I was doing a chicken pasta, I would want to cook chicken first, then add the onions and garlic. But because prawns won't take very long, add the prawns to it. So I'm just gonna add the whole packet. I'm gonna do a big bash up. We've got a couple of housemates here. I love when I do a little cooking demonstration because they get some lunch or some dinner. Put a little stir around. So you've got your garlic, you've got your onions, you've got your oil, you've got your prawns in there. Let that go. Get the slow heat today. Alright, that's cool. Put the prawns away. Yeah, alright. Can't wait till the gins open up. It's going to be amazing when they open up in a couple weeks. we are counting down for them. Alright, so next up, um, I'll use white wine, but I've only got a bit of Jacob's Creek, white bread for the wine, so just put a bit of flavour into the prawns. And with that sort of reduced down, see it's starting to reduce, so reduce is a French term for letting the sauce boil up, and it, all the onions and garlic and prawns slap up all those juices, and just uses all that flavour into those thorns. See, you already see, you can see there's not much liquid left. It's falling away. So this is going to make a bit of a red sort of flavour. So I want to add the cream. It's going to be like a rosé colour as well. But which means it's going to be a bit of a pink sort of sauce. So it should be really nice. Add the cream to it. So uh, maybe 150ml, 100ml for this amount. It's not too much cream. Um, just for it to thicken up. A little bit of taste. Hmm. Alright, so you want that to boil up, boil up, boil up. And then what we'll do, with my little um, dill here, thicker ingredient, we're just going to pop that into the pasta dish now. And that will infuse the flavour as well. And dill is fantastic for seafood fish, prawns, shellfish. Just an ideal one for seafood. But you don't want too much because it can be a bit better. But that will just get those flavours a bit harder. So it's not looking like much at the moment, but once the pasta goes in, it will start coming together a bit more. So a bit of a pinker sort of dish. We've got some parmesan cheese, and some parmesan cheese to it like this. Just when the cream is starting to boil, because that will thicken the dish up slightly as well and give it a bit more flavour. And then once that thickens up, we'll be able to cut the pasta in. But you don't want to cut the pasta in until the whole thing boils. Because that's when it's going to start reducing. So, boil in there, boil in there. Just waiting over here for it to boil. And that's when bang, add the pasta to it. Toss, 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 a bit more cheese. Cut pepper, a little bit of salt. Bob's your uncle, ready to go. Oh, that's hot. Um, but, Alright, so I'm going to add my pasta now. See it's all more in the way, which is fantastic. 
Fantastic. So I got my spaghetti in a bowl. Straight in. Oh, might be too much, but we'll see how we go. Might be alright. Alright. Get a bit of pop through. Fold it through, fold it through. So if it was chicken, you would have to cook out a bit more because chicken takes a little bit longer to cook. You fry chicken for the pasta. But because it's prawns, it won't take long at all. You can smell it really. Oh, smell. You smell that? Smell that, mate. Oh, that smells good. It smells so good. Alright, I've got my pasta in there. We'll chuck a bit more cheese to it. It's sticking right up. Alright, pop that one more final pot. Oh, beautiful. Alright, fighting up time. Woo. So, what we're going to do, we're going to bowl here, ready to go. So, pasta in. That. Want a few prawns? Well, on top. This is a garlic prawn pasta, so you want to. Don't want no one to miss out on the little fantastic little prawns. Just a little small little serving. Prawns on top. Cool. And what we'll do? A bit more pumpkin on top. Serve. So if you use white wine, it'll be a bit more of a wider sort of. Um, flavour and colour, but because I would use red wine, this gives it more pinkish whoop, flavour and a bit of dill on top. So there you have it, garlic prawn spaghetti. Done. So um, yeah guys, so please um, please subscribe, um, share the video if you want, do some more, send me some ideas. Um, this is a great little dish, it's not that healthy but it's a bit heavy for carbs. Because you know I'm bulking up now because the gym's opened up in two weeks. Thank God, I've been dying without it. But I've just been doing a few um, gym workouts at work, using milk bottles, curling, doing 100 of them push-ups. But um, yeah, I'm really struggling. But I'm not the only one in the world, you know. So the 13th of June, come on, world gym. Woo. So yeah, please check out more videos and give us a thumbs up. Lindsay Adventures out. Woo.